Hello oh, there YouTubers. What's going on? I'm going to show you one of the projects I got going on. I showed you this building that I put up for like dirt cheap. I don't have like any money in it hardly at all. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of walk around that and I think you've seen inside it before. I got the uh, big wood splitter in there. I got my hydraulic set up in there. Um, the wood up there was from a previous sawmill and video it's just um it's ash as a matter of fact this is poplar here but i think i want to take that out and switch it to pressure treated um anyhow i wanted to uh extend the sides of this back here to hold scrap just leftover steel so all my steel goes to one spot right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this back a little bit see there's one of the Two by six is coming in there. There's one there, and there's pretty sure there's one down there. And if I cut this out here and cut it up the width, I can set a two by six right on top of there, one on top of this one down there and down there. And that'd be plenty for holding this tin on the side. So what I'm gonna start by doing is taking these two, four. I only got four bolts. I guess I knew I was gonna do something with it later. I only got four bolts in each one of those panels, but I'm never known for being do things right it's just tucked in up there I got to cut that this starts to taper starts to taper down here to give me some lean-to look don't really want to look just wanted to get the water to come off there maybe you can catch the angle of it the next one will go in and be um, hopefully level it might not because it might hit hit in here I'm not sure where that's gonna hit it really doesn't make any difference where it hits it's just holding the sides on so uh, and I'm not a builder, so it really doesn't make any difference. Just holding stuff. So I'll put you on the on the uh, old, what do you call it, tripodo here. No, I can't. Be. Oh, no, I put it on right. Uh, it's got a tapered end and non-tapered end. Let me see if I can't get this, get these out. And then uh, see if I can get those other pieces cut out. I'll just take two of them out. Those really want to be in there. They're going into, I don't know what, those might be ash in there. I'm not sure. But they let loose. Like I said, I'm not, I'm far from being a builder. But if you can keep the water out, I guess you're good enough. Now, Hopefully, I can pull that back a little bit. Yeah, you kind of kind of see what I'm going after here. I guess you can see what I'm going after. Don't know what you can see from time to time in here. So I'm going to try to cut that out. It's got to go out uh, about three quarters of an inch. So. Um, I'll set that this uh, thing here at three quarters of an inch, but it's so so rusted up you can't really read it. One of these things, maybe that'll work. I don't know if that'll work or not. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, it might not. I think I'll I think I'll measure in that way, one and three quarters inches, and put a mark on it. Where are we at here? Let me move you back a little bit. Maybe you can get a better better shot at this is just one of the priors I can't really tell where there I am so if I measure it three quarters from this tin I can just measure it two inches it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference I just got to go up to this this spot right here and then go up about six inches oh lordy so if I go follow that ledge there Follow this ledge about here. Follow that about there. I could probably just bend that piece back. I probably don't even need to uh, uh, cut that. There's no point in cutting it off if I don't need to, I guess. Let me see what I got. I, I didn't really know what I was gonna do. I got this tool here. It's a pretty handy tool. Let me see what it does here. The 
rest of the world. Let me get my tins, tin snips and see how if they want to work any better. That was kind of hateful. Oh. Come on, come up with a couple old old tin snips. See if that would be a little bit less hateful. There's just no support on that piece up there. Of course, I almost need a ladder. I don't know, that cuts it pretty good. That was a lot less, a lot less dramatic. Get it cut to there and then... I imagine there's a special tool for that. Other than butchering it to just the way I did. That's kind of the plan. I'm back to, I'm back to there so that's good. Let me, these things are a little strong on the, on the width. Here's a, a narrow one, but it's got a little bit of bow to it. Now I'm looking at um, what we're looking at. I'm going to move you over. I'm going to pick through these boards and find the thinnest ones. We cut these, uh, I don't know, a month ago maybe. And uh, just a two before there. Just set them in here. To, that ain't too bad. That thing looks taller than six inches though. I guess I better get a tape out. You know, like I said, I'm not a builder. We got, I guess we cut, this is a six inch opening here. That's a six and a quarter. Hopefully I cut these at, over here at six and a quarter. Six on the money, holy cow. I, I, I can't believe I didn't cut that good. That's not like me. Hmm. Well, let me get a long, screw out here. Uh, I gotta look at my screw pile. Uh, get the screw. Guess I didn't come prepared for work too well, did I? That's only a two inch. I need a three inch. Alright, now I got a couple couple three inches. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna get that board. I got to uh, switch the switch the head of my gun impact driver out to a driver for these things let me see here there's one it's about wore out but I think it'll work there's there's one that doesn't look as wore out all right what I'm going to try to do is perform a miracle remember this is the one one man band around here. Let's see what we got here. Are you in in the show? This might be a, a funny old video. It end up on Sunday night. Most of my videos probably should end up there anyway. All right, let's see what we can do here. Get this board in there. It looks fairly fairly straight. Uh, coming through here, we can, might have to cut it off. It, it's gonna it's gonna be able to fly anyway. Yeah, it's got a little bit of taper down. I'm, I don't think that I'm going to uh, cut that. I'm going to let it fly. Go back in there a foot. Let me, uh, it's a shame that it didn't come out. Now, I might be able to put that two before in there. Let me go get that two before. Maybe it'll look a little, a little less goofy. Drop that down there. The two before I'll do it. I'll put the two before in there. But then I gotta take one of these boards back and cut it because I don't have any two befores. Maybe this one here will come up level. Well, doesn't look a whole lot different. It's about going with the angle of the roof. I can't put it in here because this is the uh, if I'd cut these off, I could have done that, but I like them to come a little bit longer there. You know, it, it really ain't gonna make any difference. Nobody's ever going to see it. It's going to get covered with tin. So we're just going to go back to the original plan. I think I'll try to put it in about six inches up there. If I can find my tape. Here's the tape. Uh, let's see how far in would be nice. Uh, I guess about six inches. 
Six inches is pretty good. <sighs> like I said, I'm not a builder. And doing it one, one at a time. I can't even see my mark down there. So, we'll put this in here. fine can you that, that'll be fine it looks looks a little goofy right now we're just gonna let it fly because I don't know where those I have three panels that I'm gonna put on here to keep that side dry and then after that's done we'll just cut those off now I have some special screws in there I think they're deck screws I forgot to bring them out too I gotta go get them to tie to tie the um, up here in That'll tie, that'll tie this into the metal. And then I can, I can bang that back in and keep it, uh, I, you know, it's got a backing in there. It's got a rod. And, you know, no bugs are going to get in there that much. And bugs really don't. The mice will get in anywhere. Oh, let's see if we can go find a couple of those deck screws. Or, yeah, they're deck screws. They're meant to go through metal. They should be over here. Hmm. Of course, they're not going to be when you want. Here they are. These are two and a half. These are two and a half. So it doesn't make any difference which ones I get. My, oh, here's some here. These might be threes. They look longer. Three and a quarter. Uh, I'm going through a two inch board. I might want those. We'll take a few of those out there and see if we can't get it. I know they like to be pre drilled, even though you're not supposed to have to do that. They like it. These are uh, 30 Torx heads. I think these are, I think these are, I'm not sure, made for uh, going through decks on a trailer or something like that. Um, so I don't really know. I'm going to set you back up on the tripod. I got a, I got my tool kit here. I got to find a Torx 30, which I, I know there's one in here. I thought I knew there was one in here. You never know what you're going to find in this, this thing here. That one, I know I got a Milwaukee one, but I don't, don't see where it got to. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's it right there. I'm pretty sure that'll fit one-handed here. Uh, can't. They keep running away. All right, I'm gonna put you back on the stand, and if I get the one to go in, then I'll come over and come over and I'll bring you a little closer here. Let me see if I can. I might have to pull that apart. Where are we at here? I, you know, I just can't see what's going on in the screen here. There's where we're at. We're up there. So you're gonna kind of this guy's gonna be at a little bit of an angle. I'm, I should have a ladder down here anyway. I might have to go get a ladder to. If I get the top one on, I might be all right. Anyhow, let's see how this does it. Getting that in there. Hold that back about a bit. Yeah, they like to be pre-drilled. Let me see if I can find a drill in here. I got a little bit of everything in this thing. Ah. There's a, a drill. Now I gotta find a drill drill. Ah. Let's see, where's the drill drill? <laughs> Can't find a drill drill. Hey, go figure. Oh, here's the drill. This is the old one. I, I don't know if it'll work. It doesn't like the the uh, the mechanism in here. No, this is the new one. I had one that went out. The new ones aren't as good as the old ones. 
I don't want to pre-drill the metal. All right, here's the screw. We're going to try that again. See what we got here. I ain't getting much push on it at the end of my arms. There it goes. See, that'll, that'll hold that just fine. So I'm going to do that the rest of the way down here. I'm going to put two more in there, and I'm going to come down and put one here. And the next one, next one we'll put level. It'll be all right. So I'm going to come back to you when I get a little further along, maybe when I get to the other side or something. There ain't no point in watching me because I don't know how to make it go fast so you're not watching a bunch of nonsense. So if you like this video or you're interested in this video, please hit the uh, like and the subscribe button. If you're new here, I'm into everything. You name it, and tomorrow going to be totally different. We got, we got a, um, I know I get, get goofed off on, we had a tornado go two miles north of us last night and believe it or not two maybe three miles we had no wind here at all and no rain and then all of a sudden we got probably over a half an inch of rain in 15 minutes and this whole place the whole property here is just a big mud pie right now so i can't do anything so this has got the uh the uh rock dust on it here so it's not muddy down here this is a project that i've wanted to do so it's just i'm polishing off a project anyhow we'll see uh Hit like and subscribe, send it to a friend. If you don't like it, send it to somebody you don't like so you're going to annoy them the way I just did you. We'll see you in a little while.